right guys, next we're going to be machining these little connectors for the uh, air cylinder. So it'll be two holes getting bored here and this will be threaded. This will be threaded for the air cylinder and we're going to have two mounting holes here. So we're starting out with our stock here. We're going to do a facing operation and a couple of drilling operations and then we're going to do some adaptive and we're going to finish it off with a chamfer. So here we go. Taking a sixteenth here with the uh, 50 millimeter face mill at 10 inches per minute at 3,000 RPM. Need to take about an inch, eighth of an inch off the stock here on each side. Uh, this is uh, three quarters of an inch total thickness, and we're going to end up with a half inch piece. Now we're drilling our hole for our threads here. The point two six three thousand RPM at eight inches a minute. We've got a three fluke Aluma Power quarter inch end mill. This is a 5 8 flute link. It's 5,000 RPMs. We're doing a 30,000 width of cut and 20, 23 inches per minute. probably didn't get any of those boring operations on film because the camera wasn't lined up. That was my bad. Just uh, chamfer these corners. It's 
thousand RPMs, uh, fifteen inches per minute. It gives a little bit better finish if I go a little slower. And uh, this is a uh, just a small light chamfer. see it turns out pretty good uh, next we're going to go ahead and do the bottom mounting holes here uh, I want to do that while the stock is still square and then that way I can uh, put it in a vise like this and I don't have to worry about it being uh, not level so we'll do get set up and we're going to do All that right, guys we've got the stock set up and we're going to drill and thread mill these bottom holes here these are M6 Got an M6 thread mill. Next operation is we're going to flip this over and we're going to face off this remaining material we have here. Alright guys, so I've got my piece now mounted in some soft jaws and we're just going to uh, face off the second side here, the bottom, and uh, put this chamfer on there. So here we go. First pass. And it's going to just kind of finish it off. So... 
right, so that finishes that up. Uh, one thing left to do is just tap this center hole, and this is a um, standard thread, so I'm going to tap it by hand. All right, guys, well, that wraps up this clevis end here. This will bolt to the carriage like so, and then it will thread onto the air cylinder, and then this will be our connecting link to the whole carriage assembly. Turned out really well. I tried to balance the amount of machining in the video versus the length of the video. Uh, it seems if I post a video and fast forward through some of the machining, uh, I get comments from people who want to see the machining and hear the machine running. So it's really uh, kind of hard to figure out what's best. But here lately I've just been leaving all the machining in there pretty much and letting you guys decide. So for this one, uh, I did the same got one more little small part to machine and it's pretty unique we're going to be using a couple of fixtures to do this uh, or fixture offsets I should say to try to simplify it and make it a little bit easier all right so that wraps up this video guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on the subscribe button down here below that way when I post a new video if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out as always guys Please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.